always pick a hero. Gaze the stars and seek your path. Hey guys, as you saw from the intro, in this match nobody from my team wanted to tank and although I was requesting to play Ruby right from the start, well sometimes you just gotta do what is the best for the team. In this one I decided to play one of the tanks with the most tools to support the team, Rafaela. She used to be really popular back then but lately I don't see her that often anymore. She is still really good though which we'll be able to see throughout this gameplay. Also, to make this even more interesting, our jungler was quite inexperienced, or he was just having a bad day, which could happen to any of us. That's why I almost never trash talk my teammates when they're not playing the best, because you never know if they're just not having a good day and what they're going through. Maybe he invested a lot in meme stocks and dodge coins. Who knows? I wanted to disrupt their marksman farm as early as possible because if she can farm freely she will become a huge problem later on. Especially when I'm not sure if our DPS know how to focus on the marksman first since I'm just a tank. Good thing that Remage actually decided to play around the tank in the early game. That's the most efficient way to play at the start of the game if you want to make an impact right away. Granger dashed too early, he used the only skill that would allow him to escape. Now he won't be able to escape from Teresla old. We are quite ahead before that fight. Now the enemies are the one in the driver's seat because of one bad in-game decision. Hylos is really strong in the early game, trying to fight him in close range is a really bad idea. No 
Even though Teresla is solo dominating his lane, probably he got inspired to play him after he saw my video. XT. Your Teresla is absolutely going nuts. It was at this moment. There were no more jungle monsters available to farm and recover his HP. The jungler should have just recall. Once again, I know nobody is perfect, but I'm just pointing out these things so you can use them as an example and learn from them. Oh no! But little did he know, I intentionally let him hit me, so he will take the bait. Teresa really watched my video, that makes me proud. But unfortunately for him, I had to win this one to make an interesting content out of it. Since I played Teresla recently, I know that one of his main weaknesses is his low casting animation. Knowing this, I just need to make sure to kite his skills. I think he became a godly show after consuming a lot of tasty semen. Oichi desune. This happens a lot when the core becomes extremely greedy for kills. You probably think I'm dead here, 
but I'm going to make one of the most epic escapes in the history of Mobile Legends. Just wait for it. Now the enemies are definitely way ahead of us. Even though they got the Lord, it's not that scary because it's not an enhanced lord, so it's very easy to defend. They probably should have just waited until minute 12. Gotta focus their marksman first. At this point, I have 18 out of 19 kills participation, which means I have been involved in almost every single fight. These kind of numbers kind of indicate how often the tank has been roaming and ganking. I've seen a lot of tanks who think that their only job is to go full Rambo and just charge forward and forget the rest. Just because you die a lot of times, they also make you a good tank. To be a very efficient tank, you really have to think a lot and make good in-game decisions. Their Kaiwa really wants to keep poking us, but she just so out of position. It's very unlikely we can push any further without the Lord. We are pretty ahead, so there shouldn't be too much trouble taking it now. And if they try to contest it, we should definitely be able to win the fight. What the? 
I was actually quite speechless. Maybe he did that intentionally to make the game more interesting. Yeah, that must be it. We are at the point that whichever team makes the first mistake, then it's game over. And this is when we lose the game. I try to be as selfish as possible in this game, with 0 kills and 96% kill participation. But I guess this is the end. I need to buy as much time as possible and make sure to not die in the process. Even though I managed to defend the base this time, it's probably game over. They just got another lord and Hyrule is already calling GG. But at least let's not go down without trying our best one last time. Actually a godly Guinevere. I cannot let her die after such an insane performance. Rafaela is such a great tank support hero because she can slow down and stun the enemies while at the same time she can heal and speed up all the teammates around her. That's pretty good I would say. Victory! Probably that's the reason why they lost, because their tank wasn't as selfless as me. Smiley face. <laughs>